All right, so on today's episode, we are gonna be shooting our snapback hats. So get your cameras ready because we're gonna be learning about camera settings, lighting, and composition. I love wearing hats, especially snapbacks. So today we are gonna be learning on how to photograph the snapback so you can make them pop and use them on your social media or if you're selling them on your online shop. So the first step of creating amazing product photography is by using light. The type of light that you wanna use is something similar to an overcast day, which is called diffusion light or soft light to avoid harsh shadows on your product. Here we are using a soft light and a smaller light for that perfect balance. So next up, let's go into the camera settings. For crisp and clear images, you'll want to use a low ISO to reduce the noise. Check out this image comparison. Low noise, high noise. Low noise, high noise. An aperture setting where you get sharpness where you want it and blurriness where you don't. And shutter speed that eliminates any motion blur. For me, I like setting it at a minimum of 200. Remember the goal is to showcase all the details of the hat from the design in the front to the stitching to the flag in the back to any other details that are inside the snapback. All right, so next up, let's talk about composition. Composition is how you arrange the hat or the camera. You can play around with different angles and perspectives to find the best shot. Before you start shooting, make sure to always do a few test shots. This way you could always fine tune the setup and you know the final is gonna be on point. So once you're happy with the setup, let's begin shooting. Experiment with different angles, close-ups, and compositions to capture the snapback from every angle. The hardest thing is done. Now, let's move on to edit the photos, where we remove any dust, specks, or whatever you find that you don't like. Then we move on to adjusting the levels the colors, and lastly, we have the final shot. With the right lighting, camera settings, composition, and a little bit of creativity, you could capture amazing photos. So that does it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what other tutorials we should do in the future.